Do you ever feel like you're living for the future? Like it's the same day over and over for someday in the future that you will live this amazing, better life? My name is Joe Moffat with Master Life by Design and I want to let you know I've done that for years in my early and mid-twenties. It was like always living by and for the next day, for the future, for what's to come. And today's video is about are you living or is it really like Groundhog's Day for you? See, as we jump in here, a lot of people, they live the same day over and over. I know I coach a lot of entrepreneurs, they're on their computer, they're building out funnels, or they're, you know, they're going to their physical locations and they're working with their sales team or whatever. It's the same thing over and over so that they can accumulate this certain amount of money, this certain amount of passive income, this certain amount of whatever that goes on in their head so that they can live the life that they want in the future. And what I'm gonna tell you is sometimes there's gotta be a balance. There's gotta be this harmony. I'm not really a fat fan of balance because if you look at the picture behind me, it's like if that seesaw was balanced, right? Life will be boring. So it's this harmony. It's like a wave that comes in in the ocean and comes out, right? There's this tide. And so that's where I see, and I was listening to this video today and I got this really cool quote here. And so it says, we suffer more often in, in imagination than in reality. Isn't that so true? Most of our pain and sufferings in our mind. <clears throat> you want to live, but do you know how to live? See, I love that question because not many of many of us don't know. We know what we want in the future. We just don't declare that now. We don't declare this is the way I want to live. This is what I'm living now. This is what I'm choosing to do now. So it says, do you know how to live? If you slow down, See, a lot of entrepreneurs, they start a business, they start this, this great, you know, mission of theirs, and they don't know what, you know, how to live in the moment. They don't know how to live with what they want to do because they can live that future life in and now. But you might be like, well, no, Joe, I want to be on a yacht and a private jet. Well, I get that. But the sense of freedom, the friendships, the community, the contribution, what you can give, you can live that now, but do you know how to live? Most people, they're so worried about the future and not the moment. You are scared of dying, but tell me, is the kind of life you lead really any different from being dead? <clears throat> There was a time in my early, the mid twenties, I was building business, I was in network marketing and I was building a team and pouring into people and doing meetings every Tuesday, sometimes Wednesday too, and Thursday nights. And it was a lie and I was like, oh, this is, this is for the future. I would delay gratification, which I really believe there's an element of life that needs to have delayed gratification. But it was always for the future, sometime in the future and I can get caught up in my own life, in my own business right now and say, Okay, when we hit this certain passive income level, when we hit this monthly financial level, when we hit this portfolio level, then we'll do blank. <clears throat> and one of those things I was thinking about as I was getting ready for this video today is like flying first class. When I hit a certain amount of money every month, you know, when we are doing six figures a month, then I will fly first class when I can fly my family first class now why not live that moment because you know the thing that thing I think about this and my heart's broken as I say this because I think about Kobe Bryant and his daughter like their life got cut short now maybe you know you call it divine timing and you know it's God's will or whatever you may call it an accident an unfortunate accident but if that was you, if you knew tomorrow something like that was going to happen to you, how would you live your life? If you had three months to live, the doctor gave you three months, what would you do? What would be different? Who would you hug longer? Where would you go? What are some of the basic things in life that you would take time out for? Like to lay on the grass and just look up in the sky and watch the clouds. Or just sit under the stars for an hour. Or just look at the water or the ocean. See, we take these things for granted. Most of us don't know how to live. 
We never stopped and really asked ourselves, what does that look like on a daily basis? What does that look like today? To live, to really live, to have fun, to enjoy, to love more, to enjoy more, to give more, to contribute more. Like, what does it mean to live? Most of us are living a dead, living as if we're dead. We're just going through the motions, right? There's this great quote. Um, it says that most people die in their early 20s or mid 20s. And that means not that they're physically dead, but they're dreaming, the, rea the, the life they want, the beliefs of what they wanted as a child, they're dead. They give up on their dreams, their goals. And so a lot of the entrepreneurs that come to coaching initially, <clears throat> they're just doing the same thing over and over. There's these patterns. They get stuck in this way of life and it, it makes them feel well disempowered. It makes them feel upset. It makes them feel bored and not worthy. It just It's just, why am I doing this? After a while, they question it. And so what we look, what I love to do in our coaching team, what we love to do is really to help them understand that first, they need some freaking variety in their life. They gotta make a change, but a healthy one to make the business grow, but also to live life how you want now. Most people, they're just, most entrepreneurs that I'm coaching, what happens is they get so caught up in this future life that they forget that there's one now. They forget that they're living a life now. And so sometimes that future is always projected into the future. If you want to manifest it earlier, if you want to create it earlier, if you want to attract li that life earlier, start living it now. And what I don't mean go out and spend five grand on clothes today, you know, because you want a new wardrobe. And that doesn't mean go out and hire, you know, drain your savings to go do a private jet to Miami for the weekend. Like that's cool when you have the money, but there's things you can work on along the way to feel that abundant so that you are living. You're not like Groundhog's Day where you're living the same life over and over and over again. I see with morning rituals. I see with daily rituals with people. They just get, they're just, after a while they go through the motions. It's just like, wow, oh, I'm just, yeah, my morning ritual, cool. I'm still feeling like poo this day. It's like, come on. We need to live. What does that look like? Look, I'm going to challenge you to write down that question. What does it look like to live today? Are you alive? I love this quote. Do you know how to live? So let me read it one last time here. We suffer more often in imagination than in reality. That's so true. We, You want to live, but do you know how to live? You are scared of dying, but tell me, is the kind of life you lead really any different from being dead? <clears throat> it's time to stop living the same old boring life, the same old business procedures, the same old morning ritual, the same old day in and day out of business. We need to change it up. Maybe you need to go out and network more. Maybe you need to pick up the phone and start calling people. Maybe you need to get into, uh, go out and talk to your customers. Maybe you need to build those relationships. I don't know what it is, but you need to make a change if this is resonating with you. And so I'm gonna challenge you to figure out what does it look like to live? Really sit down and answer that. Not just ask yourself that question, but answer it. What does it look like to live? Once you have that, every day I challenge you to answer that. One simple question when you wake up, you know, give thanks to God and or the universe, whatever you believe in for you waking up that day. But then you ask yourself, how would today look like if I just lived? Now there's responsibilities that we have and we must hit, I agree. And at that same time, you must be able to figure out how can you live because life is about that joy, that fulfillment, what brings you alive. If you are, if you're not living that day to day, you're just gonna live empty. And if you're empty, then that's no different than being dead. So I challenge you to ask that question and answer it every morning, at least for this next week, and, and actually do it. Do what you answer and see. How does that feel? Do you feel more alive? Does it feel a little bit different than maybe the life you've been living? So take on that challenge. Are you living? What does it look like? Maybe it means going out and watching the sunset every night. And just that alone will allow you enough to slow down and to feel more alive. I'd love to find out what it is for you. Comment below. What do you need to do to start feeling alive? What do you need to change in your life? And more importantly, in your business, maybe you need to stop working at eight or you know seven o'clock at night and go home to your family, right? Or spend time with friends. Whatever that is, comment below. What do you need to make a shift? And I'd love to know what did you do? 
I know you found value, so go ahead and hit smash that thumbs up button. And then most importantly, subscribe, because we're coming out with three videos every week for you to take your life, your business to that next level. The high performing entrepreneurs that I'm coaching, they have the same challenges, all of them. Now, not all the same ones exactly for each entrepreneur, right? But there's a pattern. They all have something similar or in a similar way. And so I'm coming out with these videos to help you shave off a decade of what I learned and all the investing that I did in the time so that you can be able to catapult your life. Look, I'll leave you with this. Master Life by Design is about consciously creating the life you want. The life that you know in your heart that you want to do, the things you want to do, the life you want to have, go for it. I'm telling you, go after it. Stop living a life where you're dead. Start learning how to live again. Go live that life. And if you need help with that, fill out the one-on-one -on -one coaching application. We'll jump on a call and we'll find out, you know, are you a fit for our coaching program with one of our high-performance coaches? So go out there, make today count. Go live your life. Go answer that question. Go live it. My name's Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Have a great one. See you guys.